everyone. I am going to tell a folk tale from Assam. It is called Haridev Servant. Haridev had a cheeky but smart servant named Himba. One day Haridev said, Let's go to my friend's house. You, he said pointing at Himba, will have to carry the basket of apples. Can I eat them? asked Himba. Certainly not, rebuked, rebuked and angry Haridev. You are supposed to carry them to hotel my friend's house. Then Himba got curious. How will you know if I have not eaten it? Then Haridev said, don't you dare try to eat it. I have eyes at the back of my head. So if you eat it, I'll find out. Then Himba got really involved. He had eyes at the back of his head. Let's test him. So he took an apple and on the way, he showed it at the back of Haridev's head. Of course, eyes at the back of the head only was an idiom, which meant, don't get up to some mischief, I can see you. But Haridev did not have eyes at the back of his head. So down away went the apple. Himba did the same thing for all the apples. Haridev never even glanced back. He was happy that for once Simba wasn't up to trouble. My, my, he wasn't for a surprise. At his friend's house, he said, Welcome! And then, his, then Haridev said, I'm going to present you with apples. He snatched the basket from Himba and showed it. All it had was empty apple goes. At this, Haridev's friend got angry and slammed the door. How dare you eat the apples? Haridev said to Himba. Sir, I should it at the back of your head. If you had eyes at the back of your head, you should have seen me and stopped me. But no, you did not stop me, so I kept eating them. Haridev was very angry. He wrote a note to his brother Buddha Dev. Buddha Dev had a daughter and was quite much of a wrestler. And so the note wrote, Give this man a sound thrashing. He folded it in an envelope and asked Himba to take it to Buddha Dev. But on the way, he opened it. He could not read or write. So he asked the man, Baba, please read this for me. As soon as the wise man read it for him, his eyes sparkled. He had an idea. And so, he asked the wise man to write a message for him. Then he put the note. Then he put this fresh note back into the envelope and was on his way. He gave the envelope to Buddha Dev. He had, re he had replaced the note. And now the note read, I have not found a better worthy man. Marry your daughter to him. Buddha Dev was obedient and immediately said to his daughter to marry Himba. And then a day later, Haridev came and said, Did you give that man a thrashing? Buddha Dev was surprised. He sent the man and according to the note, I married him to my daughter. Come brother, bless the couple. Haridev was horrified. But he could do nothing. He had been outwitted again. He could do nothing but keep him up as part of his family forever. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you.